Welcome to the first episode of the podcast, everyone. It's something I've been meaning to do for a little while now. It's been in the works for a little while, but I feel like now's the perfect time to do this. Let me just have a little drink quickly because nerves are running a little bit, so... Mm. Let's just crack on it anyway. And with two of my friends here, also you've got Warren and got Richie. Oh, go on, first ep. How do you feel? I feel good, man. I feel all right, but... A little bit nervous. Looking kind of uneasy right now. I know. For us listening, let's get into it, man. It's crazy, it's crazy. <laughs> First episode, obviously, is something a bit different. Yeah. It's not like you're just going into something about, like, two guests. Obviously, they're my friends here, but it's more based on something that I was going through in my lifetime, really. So it's something that I want to delve into a little bit. So I used to struggle with something very personal, but something I've overcome now. So something I want to discuss with everyone, put it out there and hopefully get some good feedback on it. So obviously, as you two know, I had a... Very well. <laughs> you lot know I had a mad gambling problem. You lot know what was going on. Mm. Just a quick first one. How did it make you lot feel being my friends knowing that I had a little, not even a little, a big gambling problem? <clears throat> on the roller coaster, mixed emotions. <laughs> Felt bad at times. Wanted to punch you up at times. <laughs> Hated you at times. Loved you at times. Mm. But you know, rough with the smooth, good with the bad, a lot of bad. Yeah, man, there was a lot yeah. of bad, a lot of bad, a lot, a of, lot bad. of bad. I have to reiterate that a lot of bad. But yeah, you know, overcome it. Yeah, man, we're here today. What yeah. about you, Richie? What about you? I mean, it was techie car. Obviously, I was stuck in the middle. Like, had the whole group trying to cut you yeah, off. You know and then, <laughs> as we like, as we shouting me, like, fam, da, 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 and I'm hearing his side of the story. It was hard. It was hard. I'll be real. It was actually hard because I, I couldn't cut you off because like man was close to you. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, when I have other people in my ear saying that, like, well, like no, we need to kick him out the group, kick him out the group. But he was doing fuck. We, sorry for black language. Yeah. You was so, doing, you was doing that like, some gay stuff. Madness, yeah, man. yeah, madness. madness. Do you know what it was? It was the lies. I yeah, think that was, that's that what was it the is. biggest thing. And yeah. Because me and you was a bit closer than everyone else at the time. Mm. I feel like it made it awkward between obviously Warren and the others and whatnot. So. It was a difficult period at the time, innit? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, you helped me out a few times when you did, like, when the the, the fold did bang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when the fold saying, bang. When, when, when it was patterned, it was good. <laughs> what I'm saying. It was all good then. But obviously, when the, the down times were there, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was very bad, innit? So, it's something that I wanted to discuss with everyone today. Yeah. About how I obviously over, overcome it as well. Yeah. So Even awareness as well. That's what I was going to say. So, you reach, reach out to a lot of people that are doing it hopefully, and see if they can get the help to stop as well. Richie? I've stopped. This is, even you, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, another thing. See, my, my thing's mine, I don't No, but it does, as you said, as Warren said to him just now, mm. even you, Richie, yeah. even little things like you and the Bet365 thinking that, oh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, it's a little bit. Now, here. Hey, the gambling is crazy. The devil no, it's always devil. wins. It is a devil, 100%. But do you know what, back in the day, when we first started doing the gambling thing, I don't gamble at like casino or do you get what I'm saying? I don't yeah. even know that type but online gambling, doing the Speaking best thing. It's just like, so how did you, something small. Because when I think about it now, it was kind of like, you was like the innocent guy that never used to drink or do anything. And then it was like, I blinked and you was drinking, going to parties and then like gambling just come in. It was like, no one even around us at the time was gambling. So you're wondering so how- So it's like, like, where did it come from? Yeah. Do you know what? It started with a, in all honesty, bro, it all started in, i never forget, in Wandsworth. It all started with putting like a little pound in the machine, getting up to three pound, walking down from Betfred to Morley's, going, Morley's to get a, going to get a number 40. The six get, wings. The six wings. Shout, out, shout out the this, six this wings. This is what I'm saying. Shout out the six wings. Everyone knows. I got one on the way. So that's how it all started, i say. Then it was like winning five pound to 50 pound, 50 pound to 100 pound. It's quick money. 100 pound to 500. Quick money. Then you win your first grand. But then when my first grand, I said I'd never so gamble. What, the first grand, was that like your first flip that made you think like, raw? No, but my first grand, I said I'd never gamble again. I won a grand, I'll never forget, in Southfields. I, I, like, I, I was like, I'll never, ever gamble again when I won my first grand. I was like, it's done now. There's no there's no point in even gambling again. What would you do at that first grand? Because that must have been when we was quite young. First grand, I think we must have been about... How old was you when we started being q Maybe old like school. 19. Yeah, well, I, when I started, I was 19. So 20 for me, for my first grand. You can't remember what you've done with it. I remember I went, 
I went to check one of my brethren back in Wanderers who I just left when I won it. And I was like, I'm never gambling again. I won a grand. There's no way I'm gambling again. Mm. Then I think I must have lost that grand within probably about two, three weeks. Because then it was like, then it was like, obviously, you know, you win, you gamble, you win, yeah. you're getting paid at the end of the month. When you started, how often would you go into like a Labrooks or wherever? William Hill. You know what? It started off Betfred, one just pounds, two pounds. Then I'd say, start again, obviously Labrooks, William Hill, all of these things. Yeah. But it was like, I'd say even before that, it was like winning a couple of football bets. Football bets was easy at the time. Mm. During them times anyway, I thought, oh, a couple both teams to score, I'm going to win. It don't even really matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then it goes further than that. You get me? So. And what, you can't remember what you done with that first rack? The first rack, it must have been. No, the first rack, I did The first rack I spent, the first rack I think I spent clothes. Yeah. Trainers, X, Y, Z. Yeah. Little night tracky. Little night, you know what I'm saying? Little night. Night bomber jacket. Night yeah, <laughs> <That's laughs> bomber jacket. 110. All of them things, that's what I'm saying. Air Max 90s and that. But, you know, after that, it was like, for me, at the time, it was, after that, you spend the grand, you're thinking, mm -hmm. that's easy, man. You put in yeah. £100, next yeah, grand's no, coming, you get me? So, yeah. after that, I think it turned to putting in, starting with a hundred, starting with like two, three hundred pounds now. And my target's Same, like from three from a pound to this is what I'm saying. Now, now you reach this stage now, and it's like okay, you starting off with three hundred pound now. Mm. What's the aim? Do you know what I mean? Then my aim was a bit like I say, my aim was like hit a grand every time, seven hundred pound, six hundred pound profit, whatever it is. But then you might win a couple of grand, mm. then you start losing a couple of grand. Even in the beginning, it was just like it, I think it was more like win lose, win lose, win. So lose. what was like? Obviously, you see the first like kind of milestones when you mm -hmm. won a grand. What was the first big loss when you thought like, raw, this is kind of like crazy. Yeah, like. like I say after the first, obviously the first one, I didn't really spend much of it on gambling. It was more, mm. it was more buy items, you know what I mean? To make sure you got something to show for it. But then after that, it was probably the lo biggest loss at my own pocket, not of like gambling money, I'd say. Yeah. Bro, it was like. What was the first one though? Like, what was the first figure that hit you? It was like, nah, like this is this is actually crazy. Like, I'm in a hole. Yeah. I'd say it was like the first one I thought about losing in a hole. Yeah, like when. Like how like much what, did you put down? Yeah, like, the first hole was like you know you get paid from work. Yeah, and it's your whole wage. You put your whole thing down. You know what I mean? It's your whole wage. It's not like. So it went from like ov obviously it went from pounds flipping reds and blacks to to hundreds to hundred. Then it went to wages. This is what I'm saying. It went straight to yeah, wages. That's crazy. So I when you lost, when you obviously when you lost your first wage, and it was gone, like no change left mm. in the pockets, like bank done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not what, until like, what, what was your, what was your first thought? Like, what did you think from there? Like, what, was, what was, no, no, no. <laughs> what was the plan? Yeah. Like, what was the plan? Like, after you lost that money, yeah. your, your wage, obviously, yeah, 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 get yeah. me your, your hustle, your bread and butter. Like, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what was the plan after that? Do you know what after that? I see where it's going. So I, I see where it's going. <laughs> so <laughs> like, speak. Was it trying to set me up? No, it's not so. Do you know it was after that? Mm. It was. It was obviously it was more. I've just been paid in it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Mm. Yeah. I come like I'm the guest on here. Hey, What's going on? That's no. a that's a long that's a long. Uh, so how did you pattern that month? How did you pattern that month? How did you pattern that month? Do you know it's like? Cool. I've just been paid now. The whole thing's gone. Gone. Now what? So now it's. Ah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's the first. I say first thing was. Yeah. It would be, oh, who can I borrow money for my bread? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? One, that was one. that was like the yeah. the step one. Mm. Second of all was it was crazy things, man. It's crazy things. It's like stuff you don't really want to share for the camera and, and for the people that are listening and watching, but I it's stuff it. that you have to share to spread awareness. You get me? Obviously, to spread awareness about the things that are going on and never to take shame about it because obviously now I'm over, I've overcome the situation. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? So Better person not, right now. It's not even an embarrassing thing to talk about. Exactly. So I say it was more. Obviously, first thing, shout your bread and see you can borrow your money. Second thing is like selling your phone. That's that was the main thing. Like, I, if I could tell you how many iPhones I've been through, bro, like it's crazy. You yeah, know. the the cash converters like the cash converters bit come in like late onto the gambling, but that was when you was like at your absolute mm. worst. I'd message a man. Yeah. Like <laughs> random stuff like yo where are you but and if, the man's not even if, getting a reply like if, yeah. if, if if anyone knows him yeah the guy don't put down his Damn, phone he's always phone's on his phone. never down always saying, never always down on the phone. Yeah. he's just so airing man i'd message a man to might be like oh like where are you like arsenal's playing you get yeah, me? Like, yeah where yeah. Are you watching a game or blah blah but it'll be delivered for like 19 hours so it's like 
where is he? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, this ain't like him. Nah, do you know, I swear that. You know <clears> then, was... obviously, it come to a point where it's like, okay, like, I might get a message 24 hours later or maybe at latest two days later. But yeah. at first, it was just like, bro, I weren't on my phone or yeah. da, 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 like connection, blah, blah, like, you know, like just stupid things. Yeah, so at yeah. first, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You're thinking, all right, cool, whatever in it, blah, blah, blah. Then it started happening often, like often, like the phone's not there, but I know, we put two I know, two. yeah, like I'm like, bro, like what's going on with your phone, bro? You always got the latest phone. You know what I'm saying? Your <laughs> tech wizard, like, you know what I'm saying? Tech's <laughs> your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, I, I don't even remember how, like, how you got it across to me, what you was doing with your yeah. phone. But obviously for the people watching, it was a thing of, if you know cash converters, it was, the phone was getting traded in. The betting shop was next door. Yeah. Literally next so door. So it was like, if you had a bad day, like in the in the bookies, it mm. was, I, I run out of bread. I run out of people to ask. Yeah. I have to shop my phone. Mm. Cash, mm -hmm. Like I said, you having the best phone all the time yeah. might go for cash converters, five, six bills yeah, six, at a time. Bills. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy never has a case on his phone, keeps it never spanking. Not, and everything's fresh. Spanking. Yeah, spanking. Everything fresh. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know yeah. Not, not even a scratch in the screen. Um, and then... You know what I'm saying? But I don't know how you got it across to me, like, Something that that was not, you doing. I think nah, I just worked it out. But do you know what the first thing was? Obviously, with the cash converters being, cash converters was there, Betfred's literally next door. That's bro. two and two. That's actually literally, two and I'm two. I'm going to do my first, I'm saying to myself sometimes, like, don't do it, don't do it, don't yeah. do it, don't do it. And then sometimes it might, you get me, it might pay off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll get my phone back five yeah. minutes later yeah, with, yeah, profit, yeah. with profit with profit or it's not happening you get me yeah. bro so it's just like bro, i didn't know about porn shop until you bro. <laughs> this is what i'm saying the man didn't even know what was going on, I didn't even know what was going on. but with warren i say the first time was when he fully knew was when i remember to ask him for a favor i can't remember i must have lied to him about something saying oh that's this is what, what yeah, this is what i need to do that, yeah. went to his house around the corner now he's giving me the bread i've gone down to putney i'll never forget it. i've gone down there and i've won the money i needed to win yeah won it but you know what I'm saying? You know, obviously as a gambler, you're thinking of tripling, I'm thinking of tripling it. I'm thinking, oh, I can give Roy his money back and get what I need to get exactly. back, whether it was my phone yeah, or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, that's, and then it's like, that's how the, they, they I can think. have some change for myself, isn't it? But yeah. it's it's crazy, man. It's a crazy feeling. It's something that I wouldn't wish on anyone, to be honest. Yeah. But obviously with you lot being my friend, you lot of, boy, you lot of stuck. I'm surprised you lot are here with me today, but you lot of stuck, <laughs> yeah, stuck through was, with it. I was trying to run a man down. No, fact. Like, it was, a, <laughs> a it was like, it was, it was a substantial yeah. amount that yeah. was given over and I was obviously told, you get me, like obviously, you know, like I had my wits about what was going on, but I thought, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm trying to get a man out of a hole with my brethren. Yeah. So I've gave over the money, but like, kind of like, in a way, like I'm giving it to you, but you know, like I'm still like, holding no, on to like, it. Yeah. <laughs> still holding on to it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to give it to you, but obviously I've given thought. it now. And then yeah. I'm, I was supposed to get the money back the next day. Yeah. So obviously it's midweek now. So I've obviously got up, had work that day. Yeah thinking like, oh, like, you get me, I'll link my man after, blah, yeah. blah, 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 payday's tomorrow. But again, the phone things happened, yeah. like, no connection. I can't hear from my man yeah. at all. Yeah. That was I'm, probably, that was probably the worst part. Man. Do you know what was, that was the worst part? I think it was like, man will be out. Man will just be like, oh, fuck. I'd just be like, bro, I'm not going home. Yeah. Like, I'm not going yeah. home. Yeah. Like, if I go home, it's iPad. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? It's yeah, not even yeah, like man's yeah. got a phone well, at home. There might be a couple of man at your block already waiting for you. This is what, bro, it's mad. Like, it's mad. It's like, as a man, I feel like, should be doing it, man. Should always be honest. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like it's always a, should always be transparent with what you're doing. And your friends will always support you clearly as we're here to yeah, play. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But in the heat of the moment, so how did like? I don't think I've ever asked you this, but how did you feel? Like, what was it like for you being on the other end of the stick? Because obviously, I'm pressuring you in a way like ads. I need my money. Like, where mm -hmm. is it? I'm you got you got our other mutual friends asking you where's his money? Yeah, Why aren't you yeah, replying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. obviously, KS. You know what I'm saying? That was yeah, like yeah, uh, yeah, that yeah, was like yeah. a personal detective. Yeah, that's yeah, bro. Yeah, that's bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, bro though. yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? That's bro. But we was on you, bro. Because mm. it was like we kind of knew what was going on, but it was like we still wanted to believe you. So yeah. when you're saying these things, like the delays, like yeah, the, the, yeah, the, yeah. the delays. Yeah. Like I'm walking. Remember the classic line: "I'm walking bank now." Yeah, yeah. Blah, yeah. Blah, I'll be like, blah. "I'm going bank now." Yeah, like <laughs> I'm going bank now. So I'm kind of like, I know you're not going bank, but I want to believe yeah, yeah, that you yeah, are. You know what it is? You see, with that question, I feel like it's. But how did you feel on the other end of the stick? This is what I'm saying. Like when thought, the messages are coming yeah, through, yeah, like, how did man feel? But I felt like we thought like you, you, you had like no sympathy yeah. at the time. No, that's what I'm saying. That's you what you got wrong. I feel like I felt on the other side of the shoot. I felt like mm -hmm. you lot weren't really not necessarily giving it, but not necessarily giving me the benefit of that because I knew what I was doing was wrong inside. Yeah. Mm. But I feel like you lot know that I've never got bad intentions. So yeah. anything I've done, 
I used to try to break. Sometimes I try to break it down and be like, do you know yeah, what, guys? You lot, you lot, you... No, but you know what? You lot, I used to be like to you lot. Sometimes I'd be like, oh, you lot know. I didn't used to like, I don't like making excuses, isn't it? But sometimes you got to, do you know what I mean? It's not nice to make excuses, but yeah. in this situation, it was like, the only thing I could really say was that you lot know that this isn't really, this ain't really me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, fair. Like you lot know that if I wasn't gambling, bro, I'm a very generous person. If I've got money, I'll help. If I can help in any way, whether it's money or not even money, it could be anything, I'll always help. So I felt like at the time, you lot was kind of turning your back on me. Do you know what I mean? And then I'd obviously, me being a bit closer to Richie at the time, it was like, I'll hit Richie about it and be like, oh, I feel like these men are kind of, yeah, yeah. Kind of violating me. Yeah. But Richie will be telling me, bro, like you need to understand where they're coming from as well. It's all well and good saying you've got a problem. Because it's not once, not twice, it's more. Do you know It wasn't I mean? really that easy mm. to discuss with you lot. But then once I started discussing, I feel like once I started discussing it in this food as well. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. But yeah, back to it anyway. Mm. From the manor, man. Morley's. You make me sick. Oh, so you don't know that I was going casino. That's yeah. another step now. This was probably the... The biggest step mm. of the gambling, I'd say. Mm. Yeah. So obviously, I told you a lot about that. That's something we discussed, obviously, amongst ourselves. But Do you know what's mad as well? I've only, like, me personally, I've only ever stepped in the casino maybe twice. Once. And we went back never... Brighton, Brighton, that's all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you know what's mad? We went Brighton, don't you remember? I remember I had no more money on me from the oh. night out. Oh. And I, t- I think I told Kane, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, was it Kane or was it you, one? I can't remember. So I take Probably out, came. yeah. I was like, take out money for me, and I give it back to you. Obviously, I had the money in the end. I was like, oh, take the money out for me, yeah, and, I'll, yeah, 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 and yeah. I'll give it back to you. Yeah. That was another loss, but that was a light loss, so that wasn't even too bad. Yeah. But with casino, I say casino started when casino started when the bookie started doing two pound spins. So the 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 bookies part's over now. It's casino. I'm going central London every other day. So where did you feel more confident in the casino or the bookies? Like if you needed money and yeah. it was on your ass, mm. where would you go? Where would you, know you go to? I'd say bookies was the first option that was all right. Yeah. But then casino, the the limit you can reach, yeah, is obviously yeah, a lot yeah. higher. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like it's not the computer. But with that, it was more going straight to casino. That was like I got a story for you. Look, I got a story. I got a story. I remember I was working. Go on, go on. Go and I got paid this day. Yeah. And I took a cab straight to the casino after work. I took out three hundred pound, three hundred pound in the casino, and that was the first. I said that was the. I'd won like six, seven bags in the bookies and everything like that. It was all right, but then I went to the casino, took out three hundred pound, and I won. What did I? Win? I won ten grand. Ten rex. I won ten. Ten. Grand. Is that when you linked me the next that's day? That's when I linked you. The, that's what. No, I linked you the same night. I won ten grand. Three hundred pound. That's where the legendary grand. video is. That's yeah, the legendary yeah, video. Yeah, the video yeah. we're gonna put it in there. You're not gonna see the video. Don't worry. You're not gonna see the video. But ten grand. Catch me in Tatton. <laughs> I'm going to give you your money. Cash. Yeah. And that's when it, I'd say this is when the big problem started happening. But 10 grand came in now. I think I had, yeah, 10 grand come in. Obviously, they give you all cash. It's all right. Went home. I'm telling Warren I want to do my driving now. I remember that. So I must have had £270 spare. I'll never forget. Like £270 spare. I was like, oh, yeah, man, I want to buy a car. I ain't even got my license yet. I just want to buy a car. Shout out KS, man, because this is one of the this, this is one, one of, of the, our greatest. This is one of the greatest story. I'm like, I want to buy a car. Richie, I remember, yeah. I'd like I remember he come in. Mm. Oh, see, he didn't tell he wasn't trying to tell us how much he'd won, because I think he knew me and came with a headlocked him there and then. But we was in B and Q, we was all working, and he was like, Yeah, I won big in it. So we was like, Yeah, but you've won big like a couple of times, like, but you've never got nothing to show for it. So we was mm. like, how about, like, I know you ain't got your license at this moment, but just get a car, just, get a car, just yeah. so you've got, like, something of a little bit of value and hopefully that will obviously motivate you to get your license, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So <clears throat> me and Kane had cars, license, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. So we were just like, oh, like, look, like, you can go car giant, you can go here. Like, I'm not talking grab nothing amazing, just grab a little something. So then I went, I went to Astra them time. Yeah, yeah, I was talking about Astras and that. So we was looking at, like, Astras. We was looking at um, Polos, like, just whips, you know what I'm saying? Back then, that a first car would have been decent. So we've, I remember, <laughs> we've we've lined up a man on Gumtree now. So we said to him, yeah, like, <clears throat> interested in your whip. Mm. Like we got the money, like we're gonna come down there. I think we were saying in two days time. No, I think we were saying like yeah, like two days time might be like a Wednesday. He was gonna go on a Friday or something like that. We all had a day off, so he was like, yeah, listen, that like, get me the, my man's waiting. Get me, you got the money. Where drive it back? You got a car there. Hopefully you'll get a license. Life will be a bit easier. 
obviously we're all on different shifts, innit? So yeah, yeah. we're thinking, yeah, that's the plan. Friday comes, we're going to go grab the whip. Obviously now, 48 hours with him is like a year <laughs> with anyone else. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so being ad, ads being ads yeah. has obviously, hasn't told no one, but he's gone back to his local, gone in there now. And that money that he won, by it come Friday, let's say four o'clock, is gone. Ten but he hasn't told us. Ten racks gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah ten racks clean. It's gone. But it might have been more than ten racks because he lost his money. But I feel like you probably borrowed money off someone. Yeah, to lost their money. Yeah, so it's crazy. The phone the was side. gone. So obviously we're like, it's like Friday, like we we're more excited than he is. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're more excited than my man is about getting his first car. So we're like, yeah. it's Friday, where are you, blah blah? You think turn Jack Ryan? Yeah, and it's then ghost. <laughs> that ghost, bro. I don't even I don't even know if we got hold of him on the Friday, but obviously days went by and we found out like raw, like, yeah, like, I ain't yeah. buying a car no more. So it's like, what, what do you mean? Like yeah. what are you buying? Yeah. Then, then with, without him saying, he said like in every other words other than I've lost ten grand to the bookies, he told us. 10 grand's gone, yeah, like 10 grand's gone. gone. We're saying, bro, we was with you on Wednesday. That yeah. money was there, like Thursday, Friday was the day. So it's basically one day in between. How have yeah, you lost yeah, 10 yeah. grand? Obviously me and Kane being non-gamblers, we're kind of like blown how, away. Like, how, yeah, like, how, how have you, you lost? Like, when we're young at this yeah, time. We're like yeah. 20, like 20 years old. So we're but saying like- we're going clubbing and that though, isn't it, as well? It might, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, around like, there. But we're saying like, how, how have you blown 10 grand in the space of 24 yeah. hours? We was at work on Wednesday, you had Thursday, and then we was going on Friday, but- Two days, bro. Do you know what? This sounds mad for everyone. Where did that go? It's going to be mad for everyone. Obviously, these people say 10 grand. Do you know what I mean? 10 grand's a lot of money at the end of the day. It is. Right now, I mean. it's not. But back then, do you know what it is? Back, back then, then yeah. I wasn't even really working like that. So I'd be working. Then I might, like, when, I, when I'm not yeah, working, yeah. it's like, oh, I'm gambling. So it's like, that was keeping me going throughout the months and months and months. And I didn't work for pff, a good two and a half years at one stage of gambling. Do you know what I mean? It was up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down. But then the 10 grand, that's, that was one time 10 grand. Then I've won another 10. Then I've won another 10, then it's like, I've got 20, then I've won 10 grand one day, three days later, I've won 12. So I've got 22 grand. I remember this. So this I remember is, this. So I remember this so like clearly, cause yeah. you know, you know what's so mad, yeah? Like, if you know, if you know him, yeah? yeah. His mood goes on his bank account. <laughs> so it's like, if he ain't got no money, he's the humblest guy in the world. I'm in a good mood right now. Yeah. He'd, he'd do everything like yeah. you'd say or ask, you know what I'm saying? Humblest guy, like nicest guy. Can't fault the guy. But it's like when the man had money, the mood would change, bro. It would be like he would go from him, then he'd win. He'd go to like soldier boy. It's crazy. Like, yeah, I don't crazy. know. Like he, crazy. Crazy. he yeah. would want. Like, rah, like, he would, let's go yeah, out. like I got, I got, I got you. Like, That's what it was. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. You know, it was. It was like once he won, the roller coaster had started. It was like you had strapped in oh, and you was in. If you was with him at the time when he won, you don't. It don't yeah. matter what your situation. You're good, you're, 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 you're good, good man. You're good, bro. Yeah, like you was on that roller coaster. Like it was like yeah, like you're on the roller coaster. It was like it could be a Thursday, but that Thursday stretching from Thursday to Monday, non-stop. But it was like I remember yeah when he won that money yeah when he had twenty two bags. But the, the thing that stuck out to me yeah, was that he was like to me, look under the bed. And I showed you, I forgot. Isn't the Gucci, the Gucci no, box? No, 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 not that, no. not that. That's just normal. But this was like, this was like, I don't know how many liters it was, but it's like five liters. You know, like what we have at work? Yeah. The big, oh, the big, thing. yeah, yeah, Bro, yeah. This yeah, guy yeah. had one of those, yeah, stuffed. I'm talking to the absolute brim, like pressure so of just fivers. So I was like, wait. Like how how do you have that? Like what? That was in the new fivers came. Yeah, this was like all the new fivers. Yeah, but the thing the thing was so big. Yeah, yeah. and it was see through as well. But it was just fivers. There must have been about I don't know like six racks in there of just fivers. Yeah, it was but that's crazy. how confident was he was. He was like, yeah, like that's my change. Like I don't that's even change, I don't even like penny. I don't even penny that. Like that's just my change. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but this was six bags or something around that number in fivers. That yeah. weren't even like. The rest of the 22 bags in 50s and yeah. blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, at the time, I was just like raw. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just in fivers alone. I've never seen that much fivers in my life. But yeah, yeah it was mad. And that was what I'm saying. The, the, the energy, the mood, the, the attitude all changed. It was mm -hmm. kind of like, when you was winning, it was like you was on, the top of, on, top, on of top of the top world. Of the like, I'd tell him to do something like in his best interest. He wouldn't listen to me. Yeah. It would be like, nah, nah I, man, I, I, I know better. I know what yeah, I'm doing. I know better. Like, you know I don't need advice. Though, that was because it was like, you might tell me to buy something. And it was like, I'm thinking if I buy it now, I'm going to buy it. And that means I'm, I've am i got less money now. Do you exactly. know what I mean? So like yeah. prime, prime example, I remember this is before the 22 grand. I've had yeah, yeah, yeah. six grand, I think six, seven grand. I'm like, oh, I want to buy the new iPhone. As you lot said before, you know, I've got the yeah. new Tech iPhone. Man. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to buy the new iPhone. It costs a grand. But I've taken two grand out with me. 
So I'm thinking I'm going to, let me gamble. Let me, I've got a grand to play with to try and win three. So I'm up to three now, but I'm like, I've lost the I've lost the grand now, so I bought the iPhone. So now I spent I spent two grand anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you know what I mean? It was little stuff like that. It's yeah, like, that like I don't wanna I can have twenty two like I did, I had twenty two grand. I'm like, you feel like I you wanna, needed to break. Do you know what I mean? Like time. I wanna I wanna if I wanna buy trainers at a hundred pounds, I'm thinking I wanna buy buy the trainers now. I'm like, okay, cool, let me take out five bills and we get up to six bills. Yeah, I've got insurance they, to play with, win a bill. I can buy the train. It's like I haven't yeah. lost anything. Like I'm like, chasing, you're I'm, not, I'm like, I've got money to to pay for it. So you know like, what I mean, with this year, yeah. like obviously one thing that you ain't really touched on is mm. like, how did you feel mentally when this was all like, for example, like when it was out there with like the close circle of friends yeah, yeah, that yeah. like you had a gambling addiction, you owed everyone money, you had pretty much no ways mm. of paying them back unless you won big. Like, yeah, yeah, how did you yeah, feel yeah. though? Like when like I was asking for the money or yeah, someone else was, it, like people were saying like, nah, don't like fuck with him no more. Cause yeah, 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 he's not yeah, learning. Yeah. He's not learning yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He's embarrassing us as a group. As a group. Like, you know, how, how did you feel though? Like where Inside did that send there, you? I'd say at that time, probably the worst time of my life, bro. Do you know what I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and say I had suicidal thoughts or whatnot. I didn't, and it's no, not like these that. These are thoughts calm. It these weren't, it weren't that deep in it, but man. it's it's deep to an extent where it's like, where you start thinking like you're not gonna have no friends, no one's gonna trust you, you can't come back from it. There's not really much you can do. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So at that stage, it's like, like what can you do? Type of thing. Like it's weird to talk about. Do you know what I mean? Because like we, we like, all spoke but about, like, barring like the your friends and that. Like how did it like? affect other people around you like for example mumsy do you know what that was the sis i'd say that was the, do you know what it was i remember one time i got home my mom just knew i'd gambled i think i had i can't remember how much so that was. but she just knew you know obviously mumsy's intuition yeah. do you know what yeah. I mean? she just knew i bro it's break it's not even embarrassing to say bro i broke down like it's not even mm, like i'm not yeah, gonna sit here yeah. and sugarcoat it but yeah. i broke down to my mum. like do you know what i mean but obviously having was that like when obviously you first Obviously, opened up to mumsy. Is that when you felt like you was at like rock bottom? Rock bottom, bro. But even that, they didn't change. It, it, do you know what it is? It's like it changed. It's like I hit rock bottom. I tell Richie, I'll tell you, I'm at rock bottom, bro. I can't really do much. But then it's like I'll stop for a little bit. Then it's do you know what I mean? It's straight back to it. Mm -hmm. But then after that, I'd say not to drag it on. I'd say fast forward in to like the last year. Mm. I'd say obviously finding out I was having a child, mm. having obviously strong people behind you, mum. Your woman X Y Z, do you know what I mean? It was like that's the type of thing that came like fast forward into the situation. That's the kind of things that made me get to where I am you today. Do you know what I mean, it, yeah. obviously my brethren telling me that's just not right. Do you feel like the little one was the turning point? Hundred percent. You see, that's obviously obviously whoever has a child. Obviously, you know when you're having a child that can change your life. You know what I mean? And having her, I think it took about six. It was six months. You weren't even here. It was about six months in. I remember, I think I lost my whole wage again. Yeah. And when you get told, I'll leave you. Yeah. Like, these, do you know what I'm saying? All these things, like, if you don't stop, all of these things. So even me, like, as a man, I always thought I could do it myself. Like, you know, as 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 we are as men, and you always think, oh, you can do it yourself, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I had to go get help, bro, at the end of the day. I couldn't do it by myself. Like, How long like, did it, like, how long did it take you to, like, basically, like, kind of, like, look in the mirror and say, mm. I need professional help? Like, bro, I was I was battling that for years. Yeah, you know, like, bro. I, I, I messaged Richard, I'm going, oh, yeah. I, to, I, I went to a couple of sessions, I'd be like, I'll go to a couple of group sessions, I'm going, yeah. I'm mm. going, I'm going there. And I'd be like, I went to one, and the guy even, the guy that was there even said to me, he was like, oh, I can tell you're not going to stop, you want to stop, but you're not going to stop because no. you have no reason to stop. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't have a reasoning behind me. It was to start. I was thinking, yeah, gambling, yeah. gambling, gambling. Like anytime I need money, it was like gamble, gamble, no, it's gamble. It's fast you know money. I, mean? I hear it. I hear it. It's fast you know money. I mean? But it's fast money. Fast money, money it? When it's, do you know what I mean? When it suits yeah. it, when it suits you, like. But then yeah. it's like, the problem was, I'd say it was more. I'd win when I have money, and I'd always lose when I need when the, money. Yeah, when you need money. That was the difference. You know what I mean? Yeah, the losses were just the like, losses were just oh, outweighing. Bro. Do you know what I mean? It yeah, was outweighing yeah, yeah. the highs, bro. It was crazy. Yeah. So like if you had to like obviously for the viewers like just to know how in depth you was mm. like not how much you've put in but yeah. how much if you had to add up every kind of lump sum you got out of the bookies mm, mm, and the mm, casino and the casino where would you say you roughly fall into what kind of oh. category like numbers wise like are we talking bro it's crazy bro it's are we crazy. talking like early six figures we it's talking... like I'd say it's like it's a hundred percent if not a hundred bags or more. So Do you know what I mean? Like hundred bags or more, because it's like I was like people were in the bookie saying I've never seen someone win ten grand. I think six sevens. Like this was every other week, bro. But it's like it's just going straight back. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? 
And but, didn't like, was there ever a time where you felt like I've won so much, but I've got like nothing to show for it? Like, did it ever like- the, I'd say that that was the biggest problem. My problem was- Not putting money aside. Not putting money aside. It was like, I win big. Okay, I want to buy this. But then it's like, I want to buy it. But I'm thinking if I buy that, I'm, let's say I want to buy something that's two grand. I'm thinking to myself, I'm two grand down now. Out of 20 or out of 15 or out of six. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, realistically- that don't make sense. Because you know what was mad? When this was all going on and we was getting like older, as years were going mm. by, it was like we was doing different things. Like we was like going on holidays and that, like small holidays, big holidays. Uh, prime example, bro. You're perfect. Prime yeah, example, holiday. Like, prime yeah. example, holiday. holiday. So we've all gone Croatia the first year now. Like, what, Every, no, no, the no, first, year, no, the first, first year, year went Croatia, year Croatia perfectly fine. Second year, Second year Croatia. Year. This is when I should have fell out of you. This is when, this, this is when, when, yeah, it's crazy. It's but crazy. But you know what was mad though? Because I remember when we was on the boat party on day, I think it was day one or two when we got there on the yeah, second year. I remember yeah, like, I remember the second day of the boat party and it was like, it was mad because was it the second year? Not yeah, second, second year. Yeah, it was second year. But the second, second year he was there. Yeah, the second year. But I remember like, it was mad because... Obviously, we're on good vibes. We're in Croatia. We've already been yeah, there. We know yeah. how crazy it was and how fun it was. But it yeah. was like, it hit me when we was on the boat party because it was like everyone at one point, I can't remember what the song was back then, but it was like the most popping song. Everyone was snapping. Everyone was snapping. And we all got memories, but then there was just kind of like <laughs> ads in it. And it was like, do you know why? Because all the I don't know. Like, I don't even know why because I was, I was drunk and it was just like raw, like. How comes Ads and his phone ain't been out? Because like yeah. I said, the guy oh, lives yeah. on his phone. That's what I, was, that's what I had. Like, yeah, the man didn't even yeah, know that one. No, no, no. Had. That's what I'm saying. Like, lived on his phone. So I'm thinking, yeah. like, rod. Anyway, so we've got that now. Yeah. That night, like, everyone's plastered. We've yeah. got back to our, our accommodation now. Yeah. Sitting there thinking, like, how lit that first day was. How, like, how this is going to go. And then it was like, my man just whipped out the iPad. Yeah. And it hit me there and then. Like, there and then. Like, rah. he sold his phone. Yeah. To, yeah. Come. Bro, to come. come. No, that's that's where it stems from. But no, what Bored. I'm saying is, this is where um, I should have fed out of you. Because cool, boom. We had a holiday, holiday coming. You shouted me like, rah, like, Rich, I need you to borrow me. Oh. Da, da, da. But this is, oh, this is my... This no, is, no, this, this one's crazy. crazy. This, is, this is my spending money for Croatia. This is like, everyone's trying to bring eight bills, seven bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, he's hearing you. Oh, like, borrow me. I think you said the eight, innit? Was or, or, or was it five? No, no it was five. Do you it know how five. I remember? Because we was we was at um, KS's granddad's yeah. the day before we was flying out, and he was bugging mm -hmm. out like saying yeah. like, "Ads has got my five bills. Obviously, I've got a little bit of change for the spending money, yeah. but I kind of need I that need as that well." Bible, yeah. And I remember he was amount. panicking because he was saying like. Everyone's gonna oh, be this, going with like eight day, bills. Day before. Yeah, day before yeah, we're yeah. flying out. Everyone's he's like. Wait, this, this is second. Like, I can't second, though, second year. Second year. I, I did pattern. Yeah. And then, like, no, but why? How did I pattern it? I I said, bro, like I need the five. It's Nini. I morning. remember we're, we're flying yeah, out yeah, in the morning. Yeah, we're bro. flying out in a couple hours. Yeah, I, had, I, I, shout, I shouted your cousin. I was like, da -da -da -da, I need this five bills. Like as has it. If I can't, if I don't get it back, I can't go to Croatia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually remember that. So your cousin patterned me and sent me sent me the five bills. Change. Yeah, yeah. And then. I don't know what happened to the five bills. Like, what did you do with the five bills that I gave you? Bro, I can't, you know, thinking back then, it was like three, four, like four or five years ago, but I can't remember. That's but what I was you all know where it's gone anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gone in some sort of. Now that made sense to why the phone wasn't there at the same time. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, and I feel like, I feel like you, at that time, I feel like being the person that you are, you've got pretty thick skin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. if you, you can take banter, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is, you know what I'm saying? You, you got thick skin, like, which is obviously a good thing, but I feel like at the time, Man was I feel like it was so bad. It was like people would banter you as jokes. Like, say, for example, when we was in Croatia second year, mm. it's like people would banter you and little jokes and that, but they were kind of like cutting deep. But it's like, because it's you, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like you yeah, would just kind of yeah, get on with it, laugh it off. And like, do you know what I'm saying? But I knew as like one of your closest friends, I kind of knew like the whole time it was it was getting to you, but it would never get to you when we're all out. It would be like maybe when you're with mumsy or you're yeah, by yourself. Yeah, yeah, and I remember yeah. one time I was sitting... Um, at my mum's, I remember, and I was like um, chatting to my brother, and oh, yeah, he had hardships of his own. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. I'm trying to like talk to him. That you know what I'm saying? That's big bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to talk to him about certain things and how he's got a pattern in certain ways. And then I remember you come up in the conversation, but this was at a time like where it's not that I didn't like you, but obviously the whole when you took that substantial yeah, amount yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like you was gone, I couldn't get a reply. Out of you man, in my ear saying burn his bridge like fuck like, that punch like, him up yeah like do this do that like look. violated and even though yeah. they were right like no one was wrong do you know what i'm saying because mm, mm, mm. man would have done worse to you like do you know what i'm saying certain other people would have done way worse yeah, do you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. but in that time i couldn't like 
I couldn't force it. I couldn't go with what people were saying because that's not how I felt. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, like people were saying you should do this, you should. I'm saying I should, but even though he's violated, I don't hate him. Yeah, do you know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't hate the you. When I you you lot know when I hate yeah, someone, yeah, I don't yeah, like them. Yeah, you know what it is. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I never hated you. Yeah. you know what I'm saying never hated you, but I disliked you. Yeah. 100%. So I remember when I was talking to my brother and that blah blah. blah you come up in it, and then I remember I bit my pride. I swallowed it, pause, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I said to myself, you know what? He's done wrong, but it's my boy. I'm going to try and get him out of a dark hole. And I remember I messaged you and I hadn't spoke to you in time. And I, it, obviously it was on Snap, so you yeah, probably yeah, saw me typing yeah, yeah. and thought, like, what the hell was going on? And then I remember I said to you, listen, bro, like, you're in a dark hole. Like, mm. it's not going right. Like, I remember I was telling you, go to this place for yeah, help, yeah, professional. Remember, I'm saying, like, bro, like, Get yourself out. Like, it's not the end. Don't think like, because no one's talking to you right now. Like, just sort your, basically sort yourself yeah, out. Sort yourself and out. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, do this, do that. Like, stop all this. Let's put this to yeah. bed. And obviously this was like, maybe like halfway through your gambling. So I don't know, like, if that done anything. But I remember mm. that. Like, that's one of the things I remember with the whole yeah, gambling yeah, thing. Is yeah, I remember yeah. I bit my tongue that day and I said, I don't like him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he owes me a lot of money. Yeah. I feel violated. But like... I'm gonna try that one last yeah. time and say, listen. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Now. Yeah, like you need to, like you need to sort yourself out. And obviously, I know it's not that easy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that. Like, you know so you can't just go click cold turkey. Finger, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm but, saying it's not a click of the finger, but I say throughout the whole thing, everyone's been, you know, what I mean, supportive about the whole situation. Obviously, loved ones around me, you lot, everyone. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like it's not something I had to deal with alone. There's certain times I felt like. Do you know what I mean? You're alone in the situation. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. But then obviously, as I said before, it's something I've overcome now. And this episode was more of a, do you know what I mean? Let's let's kind of get the awareness out there. Let's kind of spread the word about things that you can overcome. Do you know what I mean? We need a bit of support sometimes. Mm, I think like, I think with gambling, like if you are a gambling addict or you're addicted to gambling, I think it brings other things as well. And I think that kind of oh. got you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Other yeah. That's, brought, you know, that's a perfect example. It brought on other things. It mm. wasn't just like you're losing money, you're winning money. Yeah, money. It, it was, was like, like friends. you was like, no, not even that, but I'm talking like you was gambling and then it was like, all right, you've won money midweek. It was like you was drinking for four yeah. days straight. Four days like straight, bro. Every party, every Everything rain, again. all over. You were spending stupid amounts on cab. You are spending like bottles, tables. Yeah, and I feel yeah, like yeah. that alone is an addiction as well. Cause like when obviously uh, like a night out goes right, mm -hmm. it gets addicted. Like, I want to do that again. Like, I want to go win. I want to go to the club. Yeah, 100%, you know what I'm saying? 100%. I want to buy all the Hennessy bottles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to sit down. I want to have all these gal around me. I want to have all the attention. I want to be like Literally. posting all this money. I want to like social media. I feel like you was getting caught in that trap as well. Cause it's like when yeah. you won, you'd be going to X, Y, Z. It would be like, yeah, I'm not going out this week. Then I win on Wednesday. Now I'm going out Friday, Saturday, that Wednesday. Sunday. I'm yeah, going out Friday, Saturday and I'm finding a day yeah, party on Sunday. So on I feel Sunday. like the drinking was getting worse with you. Obviously the gambling was how it was. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the the late nights were getting worse. The bad habits yeah, were getting yeah, worse. Yeah, the yeah. takeaways, like, do you know what I'm saying? Just that fast yeah, life. Yeah, like 100%. the roller coaster was just like picking up. And obviously we was there, like I'd say, half the times if we couldn't come out because for whatever reason man's got work yeah man ain't yeah. got it like that right <laughs> now you would find other people to go, with, find, like, people people to go, go with that's like, i think the addiction was getting bad like you would find other people to go with like it's a midweek like where do you yeah, want a midweek I, I, was, I was going out sunday to Literally, sunday to sunday i think i think you done a crazy. whole whole seven day whole, thing as well seven day thing is crazy sure you did and i could imagine like i could literally two ends of the spectrum i could imagine like when you're winning and you're out and you're spending money with not a care in the world. Yeah, no, you yeah. probably feel like, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? You feel like the top end of the spectrum. Yeah. I'm guessing when, when you, you lose, lose, it's the complete opposite. It's you know the, what I mean? It's the yeah. complete opposite. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, trust me, man, 100%. But obviously, you're in a better position now. It's something that I've overcome, yeah, obviously. Yeah, no. It was a good discussion with everyone sitting here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, love you lot for coming. Definitely something that we're going to be doing again. But How long have you been clean for? It's been eight, nine months now. Yeah. It's you been eight, a, nine months, man. No relapse either. No relapse either. No not relapse. One little you ever bit. feel like, like... Nah, man. I feel like in the first, I'd say the first three, four months, it was like, I want to do it, I want to do it. But now, it's like, you're battling with it every day kind of thing. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but it's yeah, something yeah. that you battle every day. But you know what I mean? There's always a brighter picture on the other side.